Tensions are rising in the eastern Mediterranean between Turkey and its western allies. The European Union recently announced measures to punish Turkey for its drilling operations off the coast of northern Cyprus. Turkey has rejected the sanctions, saying they are worthless. For everybody. NATO's core maritime strength is divided into four multinational standing maritime groups that are ready to respond to any tasking. With years of focus on land-based campaigns, these groups are finding a new lease of life as attention turns back to the seas. I told him clearly that we have rights there, and in exercising our rights, our exploratory ships and drilling ships will do their jobs in the eastern Mediterranean, and our military will continue to guard those vessels. I'm sure you're going to see some shade thrown by Moscow on this. And remember something, it's more expensive to get gas from Russia into Europe than it is from Israel because they're doing heavy drilling out in the Arctic and that's real expensive. You need specialized equipment. This is a sweet deal. Call it the Leviathan deal and let's keep watching this. Gas field at some point, the East Med pipeline could shift the entire energy dependence of Europe towards the Eastern Mediterranean. The world is set to begin. The East Med Pipeline is an ambitious plan to export an annual 20 billion cubic meters of natural gas from Israeli waters in the Eastern Mediterranean to Europe. If they reach the Mediterranean, they wish to establish military naval bases in the Mediterranean for Iranian ships and Iranian submarines. This is a palpable threat against all of us. Cyprus and Greece must take and we've agreed to prepare the ground in the coming week for the EU summit to take the appropriate decisions, even sanctions against Turkey, if it is verified that there has been drilling by Turkey in the Cypriot exclusive economic zone. Terrorism and violent extremism undermine international peace and security. They divide communities, exacerbate conflicts, and destabilize entire regions. Second goal, I hope the conference leads to a renewed and sustained focus on preventing terrorism.